G'day, I'm Drew Hare from Gringo Productions and today we're going to be looking at how to grade compressed footage using a color space transform. We have our image here which was shot on a Sony A7S1 at 4K but even though it is 4K, it is 4K compressed because it's MP4. Okay, so if we bring up our scopes, so as you can see in the scopes we don't have that much room to play with. We are very contrasty. So instead of grading our footage as is, we can actually use a color space transform which will make our image um, a lot flatter and easier to work with. So what we can do is we come down the OFX plugin. I think this is in Studio, not in the free version. So Color Space Transform, which is under Resolve FX Color. Put it on there. And for our input color space, we are going to be in S Gamut. Input Gamma, we want to be in S Log 2. And in output color space, we want to be in Ari Alexa, Ari Log C for output gamma. This is a great way to grade LUTs, but I'll show that in a later video. This video is just about grading a compressed image from scratch. As you can see, if we bring up our scopes, we do have more room to play with. So this was before, now this is after. If we really want to really flat image, we could go to input gamma and change it to rec 709. Um, then we are really flat and we have zero contrast and as you can see by the image, we are very flat. Found that S log 2 was a lot better than rec 709. You tend to blow out the highlights more in rec 709. Alright, so let's make this image look nice. So we have a music video here um, that I graded a few years ago. We want to go for a very saturated and we really just want to make a pop because it's a pop video. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to add some saturation in. So we're going to add a fair bit in. I think that's a pretty good starting point. Okay, now I'm actually going to take some contrast out. So just a little bit. And then I'm going to come down to my curves and kind of brighten up his face a little bit. So if you look at our scopes here, everything's pretty much sitting in this area. So bring it up a little bit not too much the curve tends to a lot something like that looks pretty good okay so we've gone from here to here as you can see we've taken a lot of that contrast out and we're getting a nice image already but there's still a little few tricks we can do to make it even better okay the next thing I'm going to do is create another node alt s and this one is going to be for the wall so we'll call it wall Okay, so come across to your curve and then go to the third dot, hue versus saturation. Click on the area you want to saturate and bring it out a little bit because it always, it always works better when you bring it out more. And since this is the only blue in the image, then you can afford to bring it out. You're not going to hit anything else in the image. I'm going to bring it right up. If we really want that background to pop out. That's before. That's after, so we've already got kind of a nice looking image, but now we need that face to pop out a bit more. So we're going to create two more nodes. They're going to be parallel, so Alt-P twice. Uh, we're going to call this one Face, and we're going to call the bottom one Nose. Okay, so let's work on the face. So come across to our qualifier, left click, and press Shift-H on the Windows, and this will bring up your selection when you click. So left click mouse and dragging there we go and come down here and we'll just bring it out a little bit and move that center try to avoid this but it's not a big deal if we get it and bring the whites up clean whites and bring up the clean blacks to help to get rid of this area and bring up the saturation okay yep looking pretty good it doesn't matter that much of these hair selected, it's not going to make a huge difference. So shift H again. Okay, now let's add a little bit of saturation into his face. So we'll come down here, just a little bit of saturation, and put some warmth into those midtones. So we're going to add some highlights in, and this helps break up the skin. So aim it towards teal. As you can see, it's a little blue. What you can do is come down to the high range, and this will only affect this so if we go 
up further. If we go up about there, it looks pretty good. And maybe a little bit more in the mid-tones. Okay. So that's before. That's after. So as you can see, it's just popping the skin out a bit. We'll come and add a little bit of contrast. And we might just need to brighten it up a little bit. So I'll go to our curves. And just brighten it up. ever so slightly. We don't want to blow out those highlights, so I'm going to do this very carefully. So, oops, too much. Okay, so that's before and that's after. It's really helping to make him pop out from the wall. We're going to leave the nodes for the time being, but we're going to come back to the first node. If we bring up our scopes, feel like we could be a little brighter and this jacket's a little a little yellow so we need to balance that out so something around there and if we bring this up and then add a little bit of contrast by bringing down the blacks and something Around about there looks pretty good. So that's before, and then that's after. So just a couple more things to help sell the image. So with our nose, nose node, we're gonna see if we can get rid of this red mark. Okay, so come across to our power windows, and we need to track it because we're actually gonna change the hue of it, and his lips are the same color, so we don't really wanna change his lip color. Okay, so the way we're going to track this, we're going to track it by frame, not clip. So if we did clip, we could simply just press this and hope it tracks the nose, but I know for the fact that it's not going to track that well. So what do you do is you do frame. So if you move it, you already have a point where it's tracked. Then we're going to go to the middle, and that's another point, and then we're going to go to the end. Next thing you want to do is just go in between each one to track it. So I'm going to do all this and then we'll skip ahead so you don't have to watch it. Okay, great. So we're back. So as you can see, there are a lot of tracking points, um, more than I thought they were going to be. That's okay. So what I want to do now is we want to blend this red into the skin color. So we're going to go to the second dot on curves. I'm going to go hue versus hue and select the red. And we're just going to play around until we kind of get something similar. So we go right in, that's before, and then that's after. So that really helps it to um, blend into the rest of the face. You might even saturate it just a little bit. There we go. So that's before, and that's after. So it looks pretty good. Uh, little things like that, that's what color grading is all about. It's not about just checking on a lot and hoping for the best. It is about um, little touches that really help sell the image. So one more thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add more saturation to the whole image. So let's go up to about 59. So this is before saturation and then this is after. So the image looks really good, looks very poppy, high key, very clean look. Um, one more thing we could do is we could just sharpen up his eyes a little bit. So come back to the face node and we're gonna sharpen up his entire face. So sharpen and down sharpens. So there we go. So it's probably hard to tell on YouTube, but it does, little things like that do make a big difference. So this is our final image. Looks very good, looks very clean. One more thing we might try is just to brighten up his face on this side a little bit, maybe. So come across to our curves again. And yeah, that looks great. So again, that's beforehand, and then that's after. Color space transforms are a really good way to 
help you get more uh, latitude with your footage. Um, sometimes you'll get images and it's really compressed footage and it can be hard to grade. This just helps out to get a better starting point. And again, it can be really helpful when you use LUTs. Um, that'll be a video for another time. Uh, but for now, I think we're pretty much done. So let me know if you have any thoughts about grades you would like to see, um, anything from TV or film you would like to see matched. I've been Drew Hare from Green Go Productions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.